Hello, I'm Falag and today we are going to be wiping the floors with aliens. Hey, hi, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of XCOM Long War Impossible. Today we are going to be recovering the asset, whatever that means. We are confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that just means we are going to go and kill all the aliens on the fountain map, uh, but uh, we get a panic reduction from that, so this is very important. And uh, the loadout for today, we got a Trades who has, uh, everybody gets Titan armor by the way, we have a Trades who gets the uh, mind shield and boombox to bring the enemies out, to bring all the boys to the yard with his milkshakes. And then we have Andrew Anderson who is uh, coming actually prepared with a grenade launcher, power fist, mech defender, tactical sensors and battle computers for aim and hit and he's going to be able to break some cover also. And we got Netmare. Nitmare is going to be our cleanup crew with the uh, scope and alloy bipod for aim and crit and alloy jacket to drown so that the Gauss rifle can keep up with uh, out, uh, you know, plasma that's broken. We have LDG that is bringing in plasma storm gun and uh, lots of rockets with flak ammo because uh, fuck everything that flies. If uh, Solomon would want uh, the aliens to fly, he'd give them wings. And then we have Commander Faleg who is bringing in Plasma Dragon, Walker Servos and uh, Alloy Plating with the uh, Armor Piercing Ammo so that he can suppress or shoot enemies uh, as uh, needed because we are going to need some control in this battlefield. And the uh, Maverick Allen who is armed exactly the same but with Plasma Nova Gun so we can use them as our little uh, versatile suppression machine. And the uh, Rapid Fire and Double Tap if needed. Then we have Lara Lemmings. She's coming in with a plasma rifle, medkit, walker, servos and motion tracker because we have no scouts, so we need to know where the enemies are. And the last but not least, uh, our standard DDE equipped uh, Alpha Omega crit sniper with plasma sniper rifle, eliminator gun, side targeting module and alloy bipod so that we get the aim and crit that we need. And uh, yeah, let's hope we are not going to be landing right next to some sort of wall. I want the standard starting position for this map because any other completely sucks and is stupid and I Australia hate it. Australia has sent a number of requests for assistance, so that's our next drop site. And we are going to Darwin, Australia, so let's see who gets the reward today, whether we or the aliens. Now, let's see where we start, because I already have bad feelings about this and I already hate this map. And uh, if we, I just want to start in front of the fountain so I can set up and kill them all. Is that too much to ask? Can't one just massacre 50 aliens in a small enclosed space without having to hustle with walls and shit? Intel from the council and oh, fuck one of our off-site data stores has been compromised. And we can't afford to lose the data in those mainframes. They want us to get in there and secure the facility. Kill anything that moves. I'm gonna kill myself first because we are in a worst possible starting location. This place is, is it's just horrible. There is nothing I can do from here. This is just the worst starting position. I don't uh, even know why it was given into this map rather than just an inconvenience because that's exactly what it is. It's a huge motherfucking inconvenience that I can't do anything about. We can't go forward because then anything that is here would simply flank us to hell. And we could use that wall, but uh, right now at this point of the game that wall could just as well be made of paper. We can't cut over here because we have no cover and before we get to any position of uh, incursion would be completely fucked. And we can't get in here because this place is open on all sides and uh, a horrible pain in the ass to defend because we would have to defend it with limited uh, people with these uh, two rooms are the only logical place where I can go and they basically split my team into three separate entities that uh, all three of them sucks and are surrounded by the enemy. So yeah, rant over, what do I do now? I'm gonna get uh, Lara. Yeah, of course, yeah, I, I just hope that maybe I could use those cars to just jump off to there and defend in here. But I can't do this, we already have enemies inside. This is a small map and there's probably like 50, 100 million enemies in it. So let's on try getting LDG in a Got position where here. he can actually even fucking shoot a maybe rocket before the enemies start maybe fucking crawling up my fucking ass. Thank you. Fucking. 
Did I say fucking already? Also, fuck! No, but seriously, what the, what the hell do I do now? We got uh, Tin Mint that's going to snipe us no matter what we do. Seekers that are going to be on my ass, whatever I do. I know where they are, but I can't do anything about it. I could shoot a, ro uh, a rocket, but I may need it later. So yeah, and it's not gonna be very accurate. Or maybe... Just maybe... I'm a hoping a grenade. Because fuck you, aliens, and everything that you love. And yeah, sorry for the rant, but it is really annoying. And I, I want to destroy that thing anyway, because it's the only cover that the aliens can take to advance on me, so... Whatever. Fuck you, seekers. And what, you, you say that uh, exposing them like that is no, f no fun? Well, I had fun once. It was fucking awful, and I hated it. Okay, I'm gonna have to get Mini Falag over there, because he needs to be in a position where he's gonna stay through the whole mission. It's like, stay healed. Okay, that's the only thing we can do now. I'm on it, Commander. Let's shoot one seeker down. Nailed him. And yeah, don't be, don't be uh, misguided by okay. the amount of enemies we are facing right now and how easy it is. It's gonna get much, much worse. Who is flanking you? Nobody's flanking you. But we need that tin mint down. That tin man must die. It's a 64, but we don't have anything better. Did it not even work? No, it didn't. Well, at least the seeker is one for the good guys. I wish I could scratch one. I don't smoke any Roger, got my eyes on. Okay, Lara's gonna have to go over here. Aye, aye. And uh, at least we destroyed that thing means cover, so maybe it's gonna run away or something. I don't know. They're trying to pull back. Oh, Faleg, what do you know? As long as we don't get attacked from the left right now, I am relatively happy. Don't kill anyone, please. Thank you. Okay, yeah, we can eliminate those mutants easily. We will have uh, Garrett shoot a rocket, break their cover. Andrew Anderson and Alpha Omega are going to kill the mech. That's practically a very good solution. This is what happened, and this is how it's going to go down in history. As the place where mutant died. Fuck you, mutants! Okay. Now, Lara, who is flanked, may perhaps want to solve her predicament. Or maybe not. Who am I to say what she wants to do? Yeah, she did. She didn't enjoy being flanked all that much. Okay, this guy we are gonna have to take care of, but... Uh, not before. Okay. There we go, we can shoot with Andrew Anderson. I'm going to take rapid fire and then uh, hunker into a mobile tank again. Or will the rapid fire end my turn? Let's see. I think it might. It should. Yeah, that's not good. Of course, it also doesn't matter in the long run, because we are just going to take Maverick. And Maverick's gonna flash that bitch. Say what? And yeah, we have nothing better, and... Uh... Oh no, 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 you did not just kill Lara's cover. Well, I have nothing to say. That was horrible, and uh, that was horrible. I'm going to mind fray that bitch, and then suppress it. Your nightmare is just starting. 
Actually, I don't have to suppress it when I mind freight it. So I'm going to use that moment and command Lara Lemmings to GTFO, cause your ass on fire. She is still covered by that cover, by the way, but I am absolutely one motherfucking hundred percent sure that if I would leave her there at the end of the turn, that wall would collapse and she'd be exposed and she'd be killed by that fucking Tin Man. I am absolutely hundred percent certain of that. Heading to that location. Of course, now that I took her away, the wall's not going to break, because that's XCOM, baby. Trying to pull back. See, and now Lara would be completely exposed to that. Wanna bet? I bet you anything. Okay, that that guy's the mind freight, so he doesn't matter. And looks like we are defending that room. That's just uh, dandy. I mean, yeah, it could be worse, but uh, at least now we can shred that uh, guy and kill it. We also shot something else that's behind there, but whatever. I don't care. I think it was a drone. Okay, we, I don't think we have the ammo for two shots, uh, I mean for a shot on rapid fire, but we can take two shots, and that should be enough. I think Andrew is uh, a very good asset for the team. Damn aliens say what? That's okay. Alright, now we are not having any activation from the side yet. Which, uh, in my book, is the gift from above. We do have two aliens right over there. I think one of them is the mutant, okay. and the other is the tin meat, Lara. The other one is a sectoid. That's fine. They're falling back. That's okay. Now that allows me to move to the corner a little bit. And the Netmara actually has a shot on the sectoid, why not take it? Adjusting aim. Come get some. And uh, so does Alpha. So maybe we can get that sectoid after all. Bye. Okay, so what do I do? Of Atreides. Atreides doesn't really need to be there, he can keep moving with Maverick, so we can actually get out of this position before it completely burns down. There is the Mint, and even more Mectoids. I think this is a big one, so we are gonna get hit by it. Let's hope he doesn't kill anyone. It's firing! Whoa! Okay, it's self-repairing, which means this is the big, mo the big mofo. We have two shots against it. It's the Colossus, so squad sight, executioner, rapid reaction, hit ammo, advanced fire control, con platform stability, absorption field, reactive targeting sensors. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, so we can't really do anything to it because it will shoot back at me. But I can throw a rocket in his face. Hello, eat a rocket, and then a dick, and then die. So I'm going to uh, double tap with the plasma sniper rifle, because he's not gonna fire back to that. Let's hope we crit both times. Unlikely as it is. Actually, I'm gonna take the second shot against the Tin Man. Now, I need to get rid of that mint, that is an absolute priority, because it's gonna spit acid. Did we get the... Uh, no, we didn't. Okay, now I'm going to suppress and hope it's gonna work. Are you shooting back at me? No, you aren't. And that can just mean one thing and one thing. Get exactly. We are going to one for all, reload, 
and hope it's going to work. Now that's a nice critical, which I had more of those before. Now it's a wee bit too late and Mini Falek can't see. Why can't you see? Oh, why can't you see? Fuck that. I'm going to mind merge with uh, Maverick because I have a feeling Maverick might need it. All the damage reduction possible. And there you go, the wall is finally broken down. Now, that guy's gonna shoot me twice, I just uh, need him to miss. Or he's actually going to do that. That's totally fine with me. And doesn't matter whatsoever, because the shield is gonna go down. Heavy fire in this zone. That's perfect. No. Oh, fuck you. You and your mind phrase. You and your mind phrase, you ways, you butt plugs. Get your stinking paws off of me, you darn damn dirty sectoids. Okay, but seriously, we need to break that uh, wall and the fountain, so I'm gonna do that. I hope that it's going to also kill the shield. We just need to break that because aliens are using it for cover, and that means it's evil. And evil must be eradicated. Okay, now jokes aside, I'm going to keep doing what I was doing. I'm going to suppress the big guy. So he doesn't use the reaction sensors. And Kaplawi. Shoot back at this. And if the mutant below wasn't dead before, it certainly is now. Squeezed. I'm gonna give this one to Mini Falag. Who is, of course, going to miss? Anybody see saw that coming? Yeah, I know everyone. Falag can't shoot for shit. Okay, so jokes aside, I'm going to remove the effects of Mind Fray from. Uh, Lara, because uh, Mind Frey is a bitch. And uh, anyone else want some? Come on! You want a piece of me? What was that sound? I think they are, do they are, they are trash talking me. You said, what about my mama, you little piece of grey headed? I don't even have anything around you right now. You just got me by surprise. What does it say? The Oxford Mail. I didn't read before that. I need to know what that newspaper says now. I'm sorry, but uh, fuck this mission. I don't give a f crap right now. Okay, come on. Up, up. Not Let's this way. Do this. No, leave me in peace. I don't care about your war. That's the wrong way I'm zooming in. Up, up, up. Zoom in. Zoom in. I can't use the F9 because that's my record button. I say have set it up a long time ago and I am too lazy to change it to something that doesn't actually conflict with the game. But yeah, there we go. The Oxford Eagle, local FBI agent in indicted. Then there is something that, that that's the same building we are at. God damn. See that's the fountain and the, you know the rooftop. Holy crap, they actually <laughs> they actually put a newspaper in there. Well, time to kill a sectoid. Okay. Got it covered. Overwatch, aye, aye. Let's rock. You know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to put the camera back as it was. Reload. There is one more sectoid, but we don't keep a shit. And we are going to get out of that piece of building because it's about to get freaky. And I'm going to take cover over there. Because uh, such is war and such is life that this is just a sim simply much better position. We can control the whole battlefield from there. 
And if we would have to get over here, then we would use the walls and the doors. And are those doors closed or open? Those doors are closed, so actually that may not be a bad idea. And to set up over here, open the door and have them fire, okay. I changed my plan because the new one is better. And you die because you're a bitch. And we will have uh, revenge. There are some enemies over there, so we will set up to fight them. Of course, I don't have any uh, useful cover in there because uh, somebody broke it. Fucking vandals, they have no they respect for anything. And... Uh, actually, that's gonna be good for now. We're just going to steady weapon. Moving sharpish. And there we go. On the move. We are now uh, coming into the room where I heard the movement and we are going to set up from... Yeah, exactly here. We are going to set up on the big door and the small door and we are going to await until everybody's in position and then we're gonna open the door. What else do you think I was gonna say? Okay, Papa Bear get over here. If See, they are right over what here. Right here. So I will want the Let's do this. Maverick to dash. That might be a very bad idea, but I think we are having it. Yep. We have it uh, like an engineering student, a job in McDonald's. Now, a trade is. May want to chill in the back. This is a very careful stage right now we are at. If you are over here, you will have shots inside. Just don't fuck it up. I've got my eye. You will have shots inside also. Just steady weapon. Overwatch, Come on up. What? No, 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 no! Son of a bitch! You are a son of a bitch, you little sectoid. Fuck you! Okay, so yeah, now I am going to have to use the motion sensor a little bit. So there are no enemies in there, only in there. Okay, I'm going to wait a turn. And then find out. There better be aliens in that room. There aren't, but we have two mutant elites and two berserkers incoming. The elites aren't flanking anyone, luckily. do anything. Yes, we have. Nice. We are in uh, no position to fight them right now, however. So, we have to kill two berserkers right now, and we can't move mini Faleg. Mutant elites are gonna come back into the fight next turn, which is when we might start giving a fuck about them. Let's just open the door and make sure that we can see something. Okay, let's open the other door. It, there is a plan in it. I will I will show you. We are going to retreat Maverick and uh, shoot a berserker. Now he's gonna come at me. And hopefully be inside of Mini Falag and I won't have to move. That's right. Now, everybody gets a combat rush thanks to that, which is very extremely important. Andrew Anderson is going to hide. 
I don't want you to rapid fire. We're gonna save the ammo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut the hell up. Now, there is uh, one mutant elite in here, one run out the way somewhere there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to shoot this guy with Netmare. I'm going to throw the boombox to lure the mutant elites in the open. That's what I'm gonna do. Back online. It is uh, prone to not working at all, and I'm going to hunker people down to make sure that uh, we are at least uh, uh, relatively okay. safe-ish. But uh, if this indeed will aye, work, aye, aye. then we will have two mutant elites completely in the open. Come on, boombox. Hear the beat. Even if it uh, lures only one, then that's still great. It's one shot less that we are worried about. I threw it over there because it should be a double move for a wounded mutant elite. And... Uh, Alpha Omega, whatever happens, he's gonna have a double tap drop there. Because we are going to use a rocket. Okay, come at me, bro. It looks like it's working on one of them. At least it looks like it. But is it indeed? There is a sectoid alive. Seriously, bro, you are in a wrong place. Kill confirmed. Now, as for the mutant elite, since you didn't get hit by my boombox, I'm going to have to break the wall to, uh, you know, make you visible for everybody. It's not how I wanted to use the last rocket, but you know, I can't let you shoot. So sorry, but. Uh, you die now. Well, I'm not sorry. Fuck you, Mutant. You, it's your own damn fault for being alive. If you weren't been, if you haven't been born, you would not die now. So, whose fault is that, eh? Trying to make me feel bad about your problems? Oh no. Here is online. Okay, now we got uh, Now we got the groove on. Where is the last one? Come on. I know you're out there. What was that? You want to come to me. You know it. Okay. I'm gonna give it to you one more go. Reload, and if it doesn't want to come, I'm gonna go after it. Ready to engage. I feel commander. But I think it's very unfair that he doesn't want to come to me. There you are! Now, who sees you? Only you, huh? Only you can prevent forest fires. So, if we get over here, we should be able to get the grenade where we want it. And even if we get hit, who gives a fuck? So, nice cover you had there. It would be a shame if something was to happen to it. Yeah, my... That just didn't work. And the rapid fire, because rapid fire always has better chance to land one of the hits. I said it will, but it has a chance to. And Netmare cleans up the battlefield. Nailed him. We nailed it, Commander. Mission accomplished. Yeah, mission accomplished. And I really hope that whatever was so important about this location was nowhere near the anywhere that we have laid our eyes upon because we completely destroyed the building that we were meant to protect. But hey! Slay the princess, slay the dragon, or the other way around, who gives a fuck? We are the heroes. Whatever we do is right. And we must create the giant Megazord to defend against the Temple Ship. Among the entire squad. 
That takes a solid effort. And then Bradford should say, but Commander, it would create a nuclear devastation of the whole planet. And then the Commander, fuck you, we do it for the good of mankind. Okay, never mind, let's go. We got no promotions, oh well. That's what you get when you send us a whole team of Master Sergeants. We got some Melden alloys and stuff. We reduced panic, we got some money. We Stuff's broken, yo. Commander. Stuff will be repaired, how is panic now? Australia is doing fine. I don't know about the rest of the world, but the uh, world is overrated. A Lambert Strater has learned the new psionic ability. It should be Mind Merge, I believe. And Wally wanted to be a psionic. Um, what do I give you? Hmm. I think I'm going to give you Neural Feedback. Because... Uh, just want you to be psionically active. King Reich did not complete the training, that's okay. Let's put him back in there. I need that uh, neural feedback working. Not because I like neural feedback so much, he's a sniper, he's never gonna be attacked by anything anyway, so uh, it's only for the purpose of neural gunning. Scope is built. Suti is a successfully trained sniper, he now can use neural gun links. I'm proud of you. And uh, it's time for Master Sergeant Peter Dagger to also train in the use of neural gun links, god damn it. Stuff's repaired. Yay! Come on, give me a mission in Asia, something to reduce the panic. We get a plasma cannon, but that's for the Aircraft under construction. Contact detected. Abductor over Nigeria. We got a plasma cannon. I am going to send it on defensive, use the dodge and hope to shoot it down. It should we should shoot it down, it's not that big of a deal. Bangs out. Activating defense matrix. Come on. Come on. Taking heavy fire. We got it. There you go. So yeah, we have a big UFO next mission. We have shot it down. La. We have 22 aliens to kill, but this is for tomorrow. For today, I'm going to say thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If so, let me know in the comments, like the video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter and so on and so forth. And I will see you again in the next episode. For now, thanks for watching and bye-bye.